What's going on guys, Sean Gutierrez back with another video. Today I have a new blow dryer. A lot of you guys know I've had a few Dyson blow dryers. I recently picked up the Gamma XL. In the class I took recently, I realized when I was styling the hair, I was using the blow dryer on full speed. Thinking the full speed would dry the hair faster. And we learned in the class really that to do it on low speed is gonna allow you to dry the hair slowly and bring out that texture and style that you really wanna bring out in your cut. But the Gamma blow dryer is so powerful, even on its lowest setting, it's still like a jet engine. So in that moment, guys, I realized I was kind of missing my Dyson blow dryer. And unfortunately, guys, I got rid of it. I don't have it anymore. All I have is the Gamma. So I started to search for Dysons on different websites. And just like your phone likes to do, when the phone found out that I was looking for a Dyson, it started to suggest some things. And one of those was a knockoff Dyson. So here it is, guys, the Schrate Dyson knockoff. You guys can't see the picture very well, but it is similar looking to a Dyson. We're gonna take it out, of course, but S-H-R-A-T-E, Shrate, I guess, professional salon hair dryer, 1800 watt, compact design, ultra lightweight, powerful and fast drying, negative ion technology, three heat, two speed, cool button settings for precise style. We got a cold shot button, negative ion hair care, intelligent security sensor control, lightweight motor, reduced noise design, multi-gear control. That's pretty much it on the box, guys. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got in here. All right, guys, so you can see we have a diffuser, two nozzles, and the blow dryer. Go ahead and take all this stuff out of the plastic and check it out. All right, so there's the diffuser, very similar to the Dyson or the Gamma. You guys see we have two nozzles, one a little bit smaller than the other, and again, guys, these look very much like the Dyson nozzle. And this is what we're looking for, guys. Here is the Shrek. We're gonna call it the Bison. Here is the Bison blow dryer, guys. You can see major difference from the beginning is there's no hole all the way through. Obviously, guys, that is Dyson's fancier technology, but you guys can see very similar. Let me actually grab Evans and we'll compare them side by side. All right, guys, so there's the real Dyson. This is actually my old one. If you guys have been watching for a while, you've seen this before. And here is the Shrek Dyson next to it, or the Bison. So you guys can see the black one is a little bit longer on top. Like I said, clearly no hole going all the way through. This is one of my favorite things about the Dyson. But honestly guys, it's pretty much similar in size. This is actually shorter on the handle. My hand's covering it. If I go any lower, uh, it will fall over. But uh, the filter is down here on the Dyson. But you guys can see just a little bit longer. The filter is in the top on this thing. But guys, the Bison is $40-ish on Amazon. I got it on a Christmas special. Had to try it out. I had to see what this was like before I go drop 400 on another Dyson. I am working on getting a hold of Dyson, guys. I do have a professional version of their Dyson. I wanna see if they'll hook your boy up for a YouTube video. So maybe look forward to that soon. But in the meantime, we're gonna see what the Bison does on some hair. So I'll go ahead and plug it in and let you hear it before we get started. We're gonna style some hair with it and see how this thing works out. All right, guys, so first thing I noticed, not a lot of cord. This is my barber chair. I'm literally standing right next to it and I barely got this thing reaching it. So it's gonna be a little tight when I go to use it to style. I'll definitely have to turn them this way and use it right here. Let's go ahead and turn it on and let you guys hear it. So that's our low setting. Look at that mullet blow. Yeah guys, uh, actually it is looking like the low setting is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm not sure about the heat. I don't actually see heat settings on here. It just has cold one and two. So I guess you're gonna get the same heat no matter what, but you got two different speeds. But anyway, we'll see how this thing styles some hair. That's what we're here for. If you guys need to knock off Dyson, check out the straight Bison. All right, so you guys can see this thing is actually pretty powerful on this style right here. I'm using it on the full speed, full heat. Uh, like I said, guys, it does have two different speeds, high and low, and it does have a cool shot button. No heat adjustment, which is one thing, you know, I don't necessarily need, but that was one thing different from the Dyson. But you guys are gonna see we're able to get a decent amount of volume out of this using my vending brush and these straight Bison. So I'm gonna do this hairstyle right here, guys, kind of a pompadour, slick back, comb over. You guys see it styled real well. 
Also, we are gonna do some long hair. We're gonna blow dry it, it's soaking wet. Blow dry it, get it all slicked back in style, and you guys will see that it will dry that hair nice as well. And then here, guys, we have a crop top where we're gonna use the diffuser. So this is the diffuser on low speed, very low. We're just gonna slowly bring it to life. You guys see I'm able to hold it over the top, use my fingers to scrunch the hair, and get it nice and styled. So a lot of you have been asking about this blow dryer. Actually, a lot of people said, you know, I see you went back to the Dyson and I would tell you to look a little bit closer. So it even fooled you guys. A lot of you guys thought I did have a Dyson. Guys, I have been using this 100%. I put the XL in the drawer since I recorded this. I think I recorded this probably early January. So I've actually been using this for a couple months now. And like I said, the low speed is what I was looking for. You guys see on high speed, it does well. On the low speed with the diffuser, it does well, but definitely having no issues styling here. What you got there? No, it's that, it's that, it's that blow dry. It's that splat. It's that, this that, I call it the straight bison. Straight? That's what it's called. Guys, Tim picked one up. Honest thoughts. He didn't know I was gonna film this for the video, so this is honest feedback. But what do you think about it? I mean, I think it's fine, bro. I mean, for fifty bucks. Fifty bucks is pretty fine. I mean, Dyson. I've never owned one, but comparative, it's worth fifty bucks. It, it works fine. Yeah. So I've been using it full time, guys. You've seen it in the videos. You guys have been asking a bunch of questions, but I've been using that blow dryer full time. So I'm gonna put the link in the description. Guys, sometimes on Amazon, even if I put the link and you guys go to click it, it may be gone. So just look up the straight ionic blow dryer. I am gonna put the link down there, but if it doesn't work, just look up the straight blow dryer. If you guys wanna check that out for yourself. All right, that's it for the blow dryer video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash that thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you guys are gonna grab one for yourself. As always guys, make sure you subscribe. I'm dropping plenty of content like this. I already got three or four more videos in the chamber. I got a brand new camera, so check out my next tutorial and let me know if you think it looks better than the old ones. But anyway guys, I appreciate you as always. Catch you next time.